Hello all, welcome again. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking subscribe button if you did not subscribe and then bell icon for your personal notifications. If you like the video, please click like after you carefully listen to this. So this is a session in the series of STM32H7 memory. Now our topic is into Quad SPA, Quad SPA memory interface. So Quad SPA memory interface integrated inside STM32H7 controller provides a communication interface allowing the microcontroller to communicate with the external SPI and the Quad SPA memories. So in this we will see what all single or dual quad SPA access or some of the key features and then operating modes available for frame formats and then indirect operating mode, status polling operating mode and memory mapped mode, delayed data samples, interrupts and DMA, low power modes, application examples and then we will quickly have a look at related peripherals to that and comparison of STM32 series from um, that means like quad SPA features of STM32 L4 to 32 F0 to F1, F2, F3, F4, F7 and H7. And so let's quickly jump in through those quad SPA memory interface supports the connection of one or two external memories. This means that the data can be transferred over a 4 or 8 bit data bus in between the memory and the microcontroller. It gives the user flexibility to choose between the number of pins required for connection. 6 for a single or 10 for a double connection. You can see in this diagram and the performance of the data transfer 4 bits for a single or 8 bits for a data connection. So you can see 32-bit AHP bus and 64-bit AXI bus. AHP bus is connected to the register control and AXI is for shift registers, FIFO shift registers. So some of the key features are three operating modes available. So indirect status polling and memory mapped. It is optimized for communication with external memory uh, with support for dual flash mode allowing to access 8 bits in a single reading uh, cycle. It also supports both single and dual uh, data rate operation. So VDD range is from 2.7 to 3.6 volts. So let's look into the operating modes. First is indirect mode. All the operations uh, are performed through the uh, through registers classical SPI. So where it behaves as a classical SPI interface and all operations are performed perform through and uh, status polling mode where the flash status registers are read periodically with interrupt generation. Memory mapped mode where the external uh, memory is seen as an internal memory for read operations. Let's have a quick look at uh, uh, format, uh, frame formats. Quad SPA memory interface offers high flexibility in frame format co configuration. Here it is. This flexibility allows it to address any serial flash memory. User can enable or disable each of the five phases and configure the length of each phase as well as the number of lines used for each phase. Command address alt dummy data. <clears throat> so let's jump onto the inter indirect operating mode. So the quad SPA memory interface used in indirect operating mode behaves like a classical SPI interface. Transferred data goes through the data register with the FIFO data exchanges are driven by software or by MDMA controller using related interrupt flags in the quad SPA status registers. Each command is launched by writing the instruction addresses or data depending on the instruction context. Right. Status polling operating mode. Specific mode for polling a status register 
has been implemented in Quad SPI to autonomously pull the status registers in the external flash memory. The Quad SPI interface can also be configured to periodically read a register in the external flash memory. The return data can be masked to select the bits to be evaluated. The selected bits are compared with their required values stored in the match register. The result of the comparison can be treated in two ways. One is ANDed mode, that is if all the selected bits are matching, an interrupt is generated. Second one is ORD mode. If one of the selected bits is matching, an interrupt is generated. When a match occurs, the Quad SPA interface can stop automatically. <coughs> so, Quad SPA memory interface also has a memory map mode. The main application uh, benefit introduced by this mode is the simple integration of an external memory extension thanks to there be, being no difference between the read access of the internal or externally connected memories except for the number of wait states. This mode is only suitable for read operation and the external flash memory is seen as an internal one with wait states included to compensate to the lower speed of the external memory. The maximum supported by the maximum size supported by this mode is limited to 256 megabytes. The prefetch buffer supports execution in place therefore code can be executed directly from the external memory without having a downloaded download it into the internal RAM. This mode also supports SIOO mode, self-instruction only once, supported by certain flash memories which allows the controller to send an instruction only once and to remove the instruction phase for the following access. So delayed data sampling allows user to compensate for uh, the delay of the signals due to constraints on the PCB layout optimization. It allows applications to shift the data sampling time by an additional half clock cycles when operating in SDR mode. In DDR mode, the output data can be shifted by an one fourth system clock cycle to relax hold constraints. Let's have a quick look at interrupts and MDM here. So, um, the Quad SPA memory interface has five interrupt sources, timeout, status match when the mask received data matches the corresponding bits in the match register, in automatic polling mode, FIFO threshold, transfer complete and transfer error. These are all the five interrupts. MDMA requests can be generated in indirect mode when the FIFO threshold is reached. Let's look at uh, low power mode. So quad SPA memory interface is active in run and sleep modes. A quad SPA interrupt can cause the device to exit sleep mode. In stop mode, the quad SPA interface is frozen and its registers content is kept. In standby mode, the quad SPA is powered down and it must be reinitialized afterwards. It seems quite common in most of the devices. Let's see some of the applications. It requires low power management functions together with the high quality user interface. This can be achieved by using STM32 H7's Quad SPA interface to store in an external flash memory all the graphic graphical content needed including background images, high resolution icons or fonts to support multiple languages. Additional audio data for ringtones can be can also be benefit the large space offered by a fl external flash memory. The low pin count needed to drive such devices allows for high optimized system integration. So the related peripherals for the Quad SPA are RCC, Quad SPA clock control, uh, Quad SPA enable or reset, interrupts. Quad SPA interrupt mapping, MDMA or Quad SPA data transfer and GPIO Quad SPA input output pins. 
<coughs> here is the comparison across STM32 H7 series by name of instance, number of instances, maximum speed, dual flash, software compat compatibility. So it's green. Green means full, almost or full or almost full. So the one okay maximum speed here for f4 is 90 megahertz f7 is 100 megahertz and f7 h7 is 133 megahertz a dual flash is available in f4 f7 and h7 but software compatibility is quite good in stm 32 h7 quad spa features i hope you understood uh, you th the utilities and the various modes available in Quad SPA. For more, refer to an application note AN4760 for STM32 microcontrollers. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe to our channel or pre press bell icon for personal notifications. And if you like this video, if it is useful to you, please press like button. Thank you.